Muggy Megan, Megan Markle is regarded as difficult and demanding by family and staff dash but there's no big fallout with Kate Middleton, royal expert reveals. Royal correspondent Richard Palmer made the claim in a chain of tweets about the Duchess of Sussex. Meghan Markle is regarded as difficult and demanding by family and staff, according to a royal insider. Richard Palmer, royal correspondent at the Daily Express, made the claim in a series of tweets about the Duchess of Sussex in response to the news that she and husband Prince Harry are moving out of Kensington Palace. The Sun reported over the weekend that the couple are setting up home at Frogmore Cottage in the grounds of Windsor Castle. We revealed that Meghan and Harry, 34, decided they didn't want to live next to Prince William and Kate Middleton at the palace. Tension between Meghan and Kate was rumored to be the cause of a growing rift between the brothers, according to reports. Now Richard has tweeted, the crazies on Twitter won't like it but it is clear that Meghan is regarded as difficult and demanding by some in the family and on the staff. However, he added that there's been no big fallout between Meghan and Kate. He said, the story behind Harry and Meghan's move to Frogmore Cottage. Harry and Meghan spreading their wings. No big fallout but Kate and Meghan not close. No royal properties available in London apparently. The Queen's cousin, the Duke of Gloucester, 74, and his wife Birgitta, 72, currently live next door to Kate and William in their grand 21-room Kensington Palace apartment. Prince Harry was said to have been eyeing up the property as the perfect place to raise a family, but a source claimed that Danish-born Brigitte was refusing to move. Richard has now said, The Gloucesters have agreed to move out now their children have grown up. They will move to the old stables next year. But royal sources say it's a big renovation project and won't be ready in time for the Sussexes. Instead, the Queen has given Meghan and Harry Frogmore Cottage which is having a multi-million pound refit paid for by the taxpayer. It will provide 10 bedrooms and a nursery for their baby, due in April. The couple are expected to move in next year. A royal source said, the initial plan was for Harry and Meghan to move out of their cottage in the grounds of Kensington Palace and into one of the main apartments. But there has been a bit of tension between the brothers. Now Harry and Meghan don't want to live next to William and Kate and want to strike out on their own. The cozy cottage the pair currently live in was previously home to the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge before the couple moved into a 20-room apartment inside the palace. It was a friend close to the couple who claimed that the decision to move may be because a rift is developing between the two couples, as Kate and Meghan are very different people. Speaking to the Mail on Sunday. The source added, they don't really get on. Kensington Palace confirmed that Harry and Meghan were moving out, but a spokeswoman explained that this was to facilitate preparations for having a baby. They added that Windsor is a special place for the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, who also formed a part of the decision to make the move. They married in Windsor Castle back in May. In more royal news, Princess Charlotte looks identical to Diana's niece as Lady Kitty Spencer shares throwback pic of her first day at school. Kate Middleton carries just four things in her handbag, and they're all extremely useful. And the Queen will never give up the throne, and Princess Charlotte plays an important part in her decision. Her Majesty certainly won't be referring to expectant mum Meghan Markle as pregnant. As we all know, Meghan Markle is expecting her first child. But her grandmother-in-law the Queen won't be referring to her as pregnant, apparently, she hates the word. According to a recently resurfaced Us Weekly feature, the term is one of Her Majesty's pet peeves. The piece, which was published back when Prince George was a baby, quotes a palace source as saying she finds it vulgar. So, what will the 92-year-old be calling mum to be Meghan? The article states that she'll be telling people she's in the family way. The Queen will have had to speak about loved ones being in the family way quite a bit over the years. Not only does she have four children of her own, but she also has eight grandchildren and seven great-grandchildren. We bet she can't wait for Meghan to give birth to her little one, if only so she can stop avoiding the p-word. In more royal news, Meghan Markle is regarded as difficult and demanding by family and staff, but there's no big fallout with Kate Middleton, royal expert reveals. Kate Middleton carries just four things in her handbag, and they're all extremely useful and Prince Harry wore a bizarre sleep tracker ring as he arrived for a two-days Ambi tour without Meghan Markle.